Today we're going to go through the setup of monitoring a web application with the AppNeta Performance Manager. The first step is to create a new web app group for the app you want to monitor. In this case, we're going to monitor the AppNeta.com website. Next, you're going to choose the locations from which the monitoring is going to be executed from. AppNeta manages about 80 different points of presence around the world running global monitors where you can run your scripts to really measure the user experience of people in that geographic regions um, experience with your website. In this case, we'll choose to run from Japan, Hong Kong, say um, Miami, and Oregon, as well as enterprise monitoring points. So you can actually run AppNeta uh, virtual machines or physical appliances in your offices to actually measure your user's experience of an application from within your customer's location, over their Wi-Fi, over their WAN connection, like our office here in Boston. So you can easily mix and match global monitoring points and enterprise monitoring points, meaning that uh, internal applications, maybe not internet accessible, can be monitored as well. Next, enter the website you want to target, in this case, appneta.com. And last, the workflow. This is effectively the script to be executed. Uh, AppNeta supports the Selenium scripting language, which is really the industry standard for our measurement of web application performance. Um, we're going to run a script just hitting appneta.com, and I can either write the script myself, or I can record the script with a, um, a plugin to Firefox. In this case, we're going to just go back to um, appneta.com. and start up the Selenium IDE. And this is gonna automatically record all the steps that I do and create the script for me. So let's uh, do something pretty basic. Go to the website, click on the experience page, and then maybe start the demo. Um, I can have this fill in forms really create accounts, um, delete accounts, do whatever I want, um, like a regular user could do with a web application. But in this case, I'm going to have it do something pretty pretty simple here. It created this script for me. I'm going to just grab a copy of that script and then go back to the AppNeta Performance Manager and then drop that script in. Now, AppNeta has extended this, the Selenium language uh, to really make it easier for people to understand exactly when individual things are happening, adding what we call milestones. So these really give you visibility into when individual um, parts of the transaction are occurring. Uh, this is pretty simple for most uh, cases when you transition from one page to another. Um, but in a lot of cases with single page applications, the ability to demarcate when logical steps occur but no page transition happens, this is extremely valuable. So we're going to open the home page, go to the experience page, and then start the demo. Um, I can preview this where I'll see a film strip of it executing with a screenshot taken every couple hundred milliseconds, um, as well as set alert profiles so that I can be notified if overall the performance isn't meeting my expectations or any individual step of the um, script execution is not meeting my expectations. In this case, we're just going to let it run for a little while so we can see what the performance actually looks like. So from these locations, I'm going to monitor this website running this script. I hit save and that monitoring begins. We'll let this run a few times so that we have some interesting data to look at in the performance charts. So the script we defined earlier has been running from all of our monitoring points uh, for the past hour and a half or so. And we can see generally from the United States, performance is looking pretty good. From Asia, not quite so good. And But this is really what you'd expect for an application hosted in US East inside of AWS. Uh, there will be an effect of the really geographic distance on the latency in, in the web application performance. Uh, let's drill into the Miami location to see exactly what this performance looks like over time. So we're executing this transaction every five minutes. You can bring this down to every one minute if you if you want to. Um, and we can see that generally performance is stabilized at about 10 seconds. Uh, we're opening this page. We're viewing the experience page. We're starting a demo. Um, in addition to the timing of each individual page, we actually break down every object on every page and tell you how much time is spent in the actual network transport of these objects and the server-side response of these objects and the browser rendering these objects. And there's another level of depth below this, but this is typically where you'd want to trend information to see if performance is, is getting better or worse as the server-side resources are expanded or, or uh, collapsed. 
And here we can actually drill down into typically a, a detailed level that a web developer or a DevOps person would want to see. Uh, we can get very, very granular information about all these individual objects. Any client-side errors, how much time is spent waiting for browser threads, doing DNS lookups, doing the initial uh, uh, TCP handshake and HTTP connection to the server, waiting, uh, sending the res requests, waiting for a server-side response, 21% of the time waiting for server-side response, 5% receiving uh, exactly where the content is coming from. And we can actually drill down in, into any individual step, see if there's anything unusual here. Like within the demo uh, request, this is where it was taking longer than usual, we can actually see this uh, smart forms JavaScript request and it took 2.5 seconds for the DNS lookup. So while this um, may appear to the user as a slow application, maybe some um, server-side issues, this is very clearly a DNS issue in this case. You, know, you can really pin down what the root cause of user experience issues are within your web applications by doing these synthetic web transactions.